Welcome to a new video from Excel Data Analysis Series PT for Pivot Tables. Video PT 06.1 Generate Get Pivot Data Formula. In this video, we are going to look at how we can calculate formula outside the pivot table but referencing some cells inside the pivot table itself. This is a complement to video PT 04 when we spoke about calculated fields and items. In this video also, we are going to look at how we activate the get pivot table formula and then how we can copy or drag this formula and finally what will be the impact on our calculation outside the pivot table when we change the pivot table layout. If you want to follow along while watching or even if you want to practice after watching the video, please go below the video in the description section. You will find the link. Please use it to download the Excel sheet and use the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you can get notified with new videos. In our practical example today, we have the sales, the daily sales extracted from AAA bike shop and it comes in seven columns. First one is date, product name, category, quantity, sales discount, and finally the net sales. And based on this information, I created a small pivot table summarizing the net sales and quantity by category. I have only four categories as shown in this small pivot table. And I want to calculate the average price for each category outside of the pivot table. In order to, to perform this simple calculation, I'll just go to the first cell in my new table and just I'll type equal. I will select the first cell in the sum of net sales column and then the divide operator and then I will select the first cell in the sum of quantity column in the pivot table. Then I will uh, press on enter. This will simply calculate the average price for the bikes. If I select the cell and use this plus and drag it down just to copy it will calculate the entire table and this is very simple and very easy and i have no issue but the issue will come if i try to change the layout of this pivot table meaning that i have in the rows the categories only if i want to put below the category something like the product name so let me try this i'll take the product name and i'll drag it down the categories here in the rows section in the pivot table the pivot table will work uh, perfectly however my summary here for the average price will not work uh, good at all if you look at the components which should be here here is the components the 165 over the 38 but if you look here it is not the case it's taking the cargo bike and this is a product name not a category and so on and so forth until the end of the table so let's see how we can overcome this issue. Let's undo what we did in the pivot table and also I will delete all the formulas calculated here and I also go to unhide this because I already prepared uh, another two columns, one for the quantity and one for the sales and this is just to illustrate how the solution will work and before doing anything I'm going to select any cell inside the pivot table, I'm going to pivot table analyze and from the option, the pivot table option section, I want to press on this small arrow and I will click on this option, generate, get pivot table. And this is a wonderful option, can help us to overcome the issue that we faced while trying to calculate outside the pivot table. So I will activate and then instead of doing the calculation directly, I will just reference the quantity of the four categories from inside the pivot table to outside the pivot table. So I'm going to this cell, the P5, and I'm going to type equal, and then I'm going to select K5 to reference the bike's quantity, and look what will happen in the formula bar. It will generate a formula called get pivot table, and as you can see, there is some parameters inside this formula. Once I click on OK, it will reference the number exactly from the pivot table. But the issue now, if I try to copy down, you will see that it will take the same number. So to understand what happened, let's have a look on the formula bar and see what happened inside this formula. So if I select the, this formula, it will give me this assistant that I can use to understand the parameters. So first one is data field, which is exactly the sum of quantity, which is the header of the pivot table that I referenced already. 
then pivot table it it's just reference inside the pivot table and the default it just takes the top left cell from the pivot table the next parameter is field and item field one and item one and because i'm using the category field it is uh, generated automatically here and it is inside double quotation so it is hard coded inside the formula so the field one for this case is category and then item one is bikes so whenever i copy down because this is hard coded it will not change and if i want to change this i need to change the hard coded item name to a reference that i can use to change the name of the item so simply while selecting the bikes and the double quotes outside the bikes i'm going to select o5 and just in case if i'm going to copy it to the right i will use the dollar sign so i can um, make sure that the reference of o will not change and then i will press on enter and still it's working and if i copy down here you will see it will change it will take the components why because the reference change to components the last uh, parameter change to 06 instead of 05 while copying down if i continue to copy down until clothing it's working perfectly and now let's try to change the layout of the pivot table i'm going to take for example the product name i'll put it down here and look what will happen it's working perfectly no problem the 22 is for the bikes and the 38 for the components and so on and so forth and now let's try to copy down to the grand total and look what will happen it will give you an error so if you want to understand why we have error here simply because i'm trying to reference grand total as an item for category and this is not the case inside the category field we don't have item called grand total and because i'm trying to reference the grand total of the sum of quantity so no need to mention any category or any field and item here and look here if you look at this field one item one field two item two it's all written between two square brackets and this means this is optional in this case i don't need it just select and backspace to delete and enter and now your grand total is okay and you don't have any error and this is the 139 let's try to copyright so i'm going to select and drag to the right the number will not change and this is expected and why go again to the formula bar you can see that still looking at the sum of quantity not at the sum of the sales so i want to change this and this is very easy just i can type it myself sum of net sales but being sure that the spelling is correct and now it's referencing uh, correctly the net sales select and copy down it will work except for the grand total just delete the third argument backspace and enter now it's okay i can now simply calculate the average price equals net sales over quantity enter and double click to drag to drag down now even if you try to change in the layout like taking out the product name still your calculation is working perfectly try to put the date down here it's again you have the monthly sales but your table and your formula is working perfectly that's all for today i hope that was helpful for you and useful and please stay tuned for pt06.2 i'm going to talk about show value as which is a very good feature that also can complement what we are talking about which is calculation inside or outside the pivot table thank you very much and bye